man. It was a transgender woman. Daphne Dwarman is the name. A white trans woman laughing loud and hard at everything I said, especially the trans jokes. It's very puzzling. Turns out it was her dream to be a comedian, and I was her hero. It's very moving. I could not dislike somebody that felt that way about me. We became fast friends. And when I needed an opening act, I called her on the phone, and she was like, fuck yeah. And then the show became something cooler than a show. It just became like a conversation between a black man and a white trans woman, and we started getting to the bombership. And at the end of the show, I go, oh, Daphne, I said, well, that was fun. I love you to death, but I have no fucking idea what you're talking about. And she said, I don't need you to understand me. She said, I just need you to believe that I'm having a human experience. She didn't say anything about pronouns. She didn't say anything about me being in trouble. She said, just believe I'm a person and I'm going through it. You know, I believe you because it takes one to know one. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I'm gonna make it the house now. Okay, I'm gonna make it the house now. And then I told y'all I got the pancakes and wings and gizzards from this place called Hip Hop. I'm gonna show y'all what this look like. Y'all see that little seasoning that be on there? I don't know what this is. It looks like they gave me a piece of <laughs> But, oh, it's so hot too. That's a dessert. And here are the wings. And of course, they give you fries. Super hot. Mmm. And let's look at the pancakes. Can y'all see this woman in my face? Look at this. <sighs> this is so frozen stuff. I should have known. Should have known. I hope it's good, though. set up on my table. And I got ranch. My hot sauce. I'm ready to dig in. Let me see my grace. Yeah. All right, so... Let's get back to it. So, what I was saying was, oh my God, it's so hot. I'm talking about Dave Chappelle. And I just want somebody to tell me, what did he say that was so bad? Because honestly, the videos that I've been watching I've been watching to see what somebody had to say, but nobody said anything other than the fact that he spoke on, I guess, because he said the word trans. I don't know. So, I want somebody to explain it to me, what he said so bad, because the only thing that I've been seeing are videos pretty much you know, defending him. And I'm the type of person that I want to know, I like to know both sides. And, and I push her off violently because I'm transphobic. <laughs> I said, boundaries, bitch. <laughs> when Sticks and Stones came out, a lot of people in the trans community were furious with me. And the hardest thing for a person to do is go against their tribe if they disagree with their tribe, but Daphne did that for me. 
She said, punching down on someone requires you to think less of them. And I know him, and he doesn't. He doesn't punch up, he doesn't punch down, he punches lines, and he's a master at his craft. That's what she said. Beautiful tweet. Beautiful. And um, before we counsel someone, but I do know that I can honestly say that um, I get what he's trying, what the message he was trying to portray in reference to the LGBTQ community versus the black community. And what he's trying to say is that for years, we've been fighting for these same rights. And um, we're not getting the same response as the rights of the LGBT community. You know, that's all I want to know. Um, I'm not going to talk about it too much. Um, I would like to talk about it further. Oh, I haven't seen anything about how someone in that community feels other than the media just saying, we're going to counsel him, we're going to counsel him. But I want someone from that community to tell me what did he do or say that was so offensive in this show. We're not talking about the show before. What did he say that was so bad? I'm going to get off of that. We're going to enjoy this meal. Just want somebody to tell me in the comments. What did he say? What is it that was done? What did he say? What did he do that we need to cancel him? I want to I wanna understand it. I, I truly do. Because I, I can say that I can understand. He's a storyteller. I can understand the message. Um that he was trying to portray and um I can understand his point of view when it relates to the black community but because I'm not trans in the other community I want to know the views on that side I, I I honestly do I'm I'm a person that um right is right wrong is wrong and I want to understand the other side of it. I really do. But it just came out to these. Let's see what these crab cakes are hitting on. Because this ain't no real crab cake. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me tell y'all what I call this. Stuffing with a few pieces of crab meat. <laughs> That's what it looked like, stuffing. That somebody made some stuffing. Probably put some crab meat in it because I don't see a piece of crab meat in it yet. Breaded it up and fried it, and we called it a crab cake. Mmm. I don't know. I didn't taste a piece of crab meat. Um, the good thing that I can say about this is it's not fried hard. <laughs> it's not fried too hard the way I can't eat it. But, you know, y'all, I'm going to have to keep my video a little short. Um, also, if you made it this far... At the end, you'll see um, that I got my studio being set up. It's coming along. It's coming along. I'm so excited. So excited. I want to say thanks to Capo. He does photography and all this stuff. And, um, you know, short videos, short films. He helped do commercials for businesses and he's setting up my stuff for me so thanks Cabo. i appreciate it um until next time my good people make sure that you like comment subscribe if anything when you hit us just hit the subscribe for me right now y'all 
I got something special planned for when I get to 200 subscribers. So let's do that for me. I really, 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 really appreciate it. Um, and if you don't know anything about the topic, um, ask your friends. So and share this video with your friends because I really want to. I truly want to have a real discussion about um, this whole canceling Dave Chappelle. So, you know, just let me know. Until next time. <sighs> the studio is coming right along. The studio is coming right along.